Weekly Shonen Jump. Even if you haven't read a single manga in your entire life, you've heard of something that's come out of this weekly manga magazine. From Dragon Ball, to Naruto, to Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, and Jujutsu Kaisen. It has been a dominant force in the manga, and by extension, the anime industry for decades now. However, for every series you've heard of, there are probably 10 that you've never even heard of before. So, today, we're going to be exploring and explaining the Shonen Jump Iceberg, created by the Reddit user Simidius, which progressively covers more and more obscure manga series that at some point were released within Shonen Jump. If you're interested in learning about obscure series, want to learn a bit of manga history, or maybe looking for a new series to pick up and read, this is the video for you. Now, this iceberg is a couple of years old, so if something seems to be in a bad spot, or is just not on here, it might just be because it didn't exist yet. For example, Kagurabachi will not be on this iceberg. Now, this video is obviously going to be very long, so I honestly don't expect you to watch this in one go. Please, put it on as background noise while you do chores, watch it in parts while you have breakfast, or skip around to the sections that interest you, but please, do enjoy my Dokkan Battle gameplay in the background. Either way, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment about your favorite series that I mention, or a manga that you learned about. With that all out of the way, you can see how long this video is, so let's jump right in. Level 1, Above the Berg. This is honestly the most pointless tier to cover. All of the series found at this tier are massively successful both in manga, anime, and oftentimes video game or even live form. Each one of these have massive fan bases and cultural influences well beyond just Japan, so if you haven't heard of these before, no offense, but you're probably living under a rock. But for the sake of completeness, here's what's on this tier. Hunter x Hunter, Naruto, Boku no Hero Academia, Dragon Ball, Bleach, Haikyuu, Death Note, Dr. Stone, One Piece, Demon Slayer, Black Clover, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, and Promise Neverland. Level 2, Tip of the Iceberg. I think the major difference between these two levels is that the series at the previous level are all arguably culturally relevant, and even non-anime fans could pretty easily identify most of them. In this tier though, I think many non-manga and anime fans will not be able to do the same thing, even though each of these series are still massively popular. So again, the point of this iceberg video is to talk about the interesting and obscure things, so again, I'll read the series in this tier off, though after this point, I'll be going into a bit more detail for each entry and actually explaining them. We have Saint Seiya, Renori Kenshin, Gintama, Hitman Reborn, iShield 21, Kuroko no Basket, Jujutsu Kaisen, Slam Dunk, Assassination Classroom, Hutuku no Ken, Yu Yu Hakusho, and Bakuman. Level 3, Shallow Waters. Next, we enter the level where actually maybe obscure or forgotten series do exist. We're still at the point where some of the series in here are pretty popular, so you can see all the series here, but I'm only going to be explaining the ones that I think are actually lesser known and worth talking about. World Trigger World Trigger is the most popular work by mangaka Daisuke Ashihara. It's a battle manga whose serialization started in 2013 and is still ongoing to this day, with 240 chapters as of March of 2024. This series ran in Shonen Jump until 2018 when Ashihara started suffering from health issues and has been running in Jump Square ever since. This series revolves around an organization named Border who protect the world from interdimensional invaders known as Neighbors. I think one of the most interesting aspects of this manga is that it doesn't have one main character, but four that the author all considers equally central to the plot. Prince of Tennis Prince of Tennis is a placement that only works for a Western viewer. As in Japan, this is one of the most popular sports manga of all time, proven by how it has more than 60 million copies sold between 1999 and 2008. It's got multiple spin-offs and is a franchise in and of itself in pretty much every form that you can think of. Again, this would be not be tier 3 series if this was made from a Japanese perspective. As for plot, it's about tennis. What else can I say? Whistle. 
Now, this placement is the opposite of the last one. Whistle is another sports manga, this time about soccer that was written by mangaka Daisuke Higuchi. It ran from 1998 to 2002, but unlike Prince of Tennis, it seems to have a way less commercial and cultural impact. In fact, I could objectively say that this isn't even the most popular or well-received manga about a boy playing soccer that's been in Shonen Jump. We'll talk about the other one later. Hikaru no Go Hikaru no Go is another manga that ran from the late 90s to the early 2000s written by Yumi Hada and illustrated by Takeshi Obata. You may recognize Obata's name, as after this he went on to illustrate the far more popular manga Death Note. This series is about the board game Go, and apparently caused the game to have a resurgence of popularity during the time it was serialized. While writing, they took this manga so seriously that they had a professional Go player, Yukari Koshihara, supervising the games to make sure that they were accurate. Aside from this, it stands out from other sports like manga as the main character is actually possessed by a ghost which honestly does make it far more interesting at least to me beezlebub beezlebub is a late 2000s early 2010s comedy slash action manga written by ryuhei tamura the plot focuses on a delinquent named oga who becomes the caretaker of a baby named beezlebub the fourth who is the son of the demon king not much else to say about this manga, raising a demon baby causes chaos, surprisingly. Shogeki no Soma This is another series that I think could go higher, as it is a relatively highly selling manga series, but its impact has definitely faded. Shogeki no Soma, also known as Food Wars, is a manga that ran throughout pretty much the entire 2010s. It's a manga about cooking food and fan service, as the food is so good that people enjoy it a bit too much. If you've read the series, you know what I'm talking about. Dr. Slump Dragon Ball fans should be familiar with this one. Dr. Slump is the first long-running manga written by none other than Akira Toriyama. It's a gag series that follows the adventures of a robot girl named Arale, who would go on to appear in Dragon Ball and other related media several times. A lot of people don't realize that even by itself, Dr. Slump is considered an incredibly popular and well-selling manga, and still dominates anime and manga culture in Japan, even when ignoring the legacy Toriyama would continue to create after it with his other series. Toriko now, this manga I have mixed feelings about. It's personally one of my guilty pleasure shown in battle manga, with a power system of the world mostly being about cooking and eating food on a fantasy version of Earth that's the size of Neptune. But I can't in good consciousness recommend this one. I don't want to go into too much demonetizable detail, but the author of Toriko is a bit of a creep and honestly a straight up criminal, which has pretty much ruined this manga for me once I found out. Anyways, let's just move on. Mashal. Mashal is a relatively new manga whose full name is actually Mashal, Magic and Muscles. It's a gag slash battle shonen manga written by Hajime Komodo. The main draw of this series is that the main character's name is Mash, is pretty much the only dude who doesn't have magic in the world. Instead, he uses outrageous feats of strength in ways that seem like magic to defeat his opponents. While I haven't finished it, I did have a lot of fun reading it when I was. Psyche K. This is another non-battle manga that ran in Shonen Jump during most of the 2010s. The disastrous life of Psyche K follows Psyche, a guy with psychic powers who's trying to hide them from everyone else. Weirdly, I've heard this guy brought up sometimes as a character who can beat Goku. I don't know if that's true, but if you like stories for how strong the characters are, maybe check it out. D. Gray Man. The story of D. Gray Man is both an unfortunate but familiar tale in the manga industry. D. Gray Man is a manga that started in 2004, written by mangaka Katsura Hushino, and is still ongoing to this day, 20 years later. Unlike something like One Piece that has over a thousand chapters now, due to the author taking numerous extremely long hiatuses for their health. That being said, the story, which is about magical exorcists in the 1800s, is considered an incredibly unique battle shonen. To Love Rue to Love Ru is a relatively short-running romance comedy manga written by Saki Hasemi and illustrated by Kentaro Yubuki, an artist also known for the manga Black Cat. To Love Ru focuses on a guy named Rido who accidentally marries an alien girl named Lala Devilook, with the plot, if you can call it that, mostly being about him dealing with a large cast of female characters, or in other words, it's a harem manga, that ran in the biggest manga magazine in the world and has nearly sold 20 million copies. Crazy. Zipman. Zipman was a manga that lasted less than 20 chapters as it was quickly cancelled by Jump. The plot revolves around a superhero oddly named Jackman, who is formed when a guy puts on a robot costume that has the personality of his genius friend. The art style looks a lot like My Hero Academia, and the color spreads remind me a lot of Murata's work, so I was generally surprised when this series got the axe. It must not have been popular enough or well received by readers at the time. Uso Renkin. 
This is one of the first series besides maybe Whistle on this iceberg that I have never even seen or heard about before I started doing research for this video, and I quickly learned why. This is a manga created by Nobuhiro Watsuki, the creator of Ruinori Kenshin. Once again, I can't talk about it without being demonetized, but this guy is also a criminal, so I can't recommend this one at all. Madaka Box Madaka Box is a manga written by Nisio Isin, who is actually a full-time author, as most of their other work are in light novels, like Monogatari, so if anything, this was like a side quest for him. As for what Madaka Box is, it follows Madaka Kurakami, who begins as a relatively grounded high school drama with some supernatural elements, and evolves into a very weird battle series that happens to have some of the most powerful characters to ever appear in Shonen Jump. I'm not kidding. Samurai 8. Samurai 8 was a manga written by Masashi Kishimoto, the author of Naruto after the end of the series. It is completely disconnected with its own universe, characters, and power system. The story is about space samurai, and while it's been forever since I read it, I really did enjoy it while it was coming out. However, unfortunately, this series ended in less than a year with only 5 volumes. However, it did get an ending, so if you want a series that you can probably read in a single sitting and you enjoy Naruto, give it a look. Level 4 safe waters. As we go deeper and deeper on this iceberg, the availability and range of content available for these series begins to vary much more drastically, as some of these series are actually very popular but maybe old, while other ones were only popular in Japan, and some of these aren't popular at all. Thus, sometimes I'll still be able to say a lot, but sometimes the available information is so sparse I literally can't show you much. Still, there are a lot of entries on this level, so let's not waste any time. Sandland. Sandland is a perfect example of how years later an obscure series can become well known. Sandland was a brief manga written by Akira Toriyama that ran in Jump for only a few months in the year 2000. Now, 24 years later, Sandland is getting an anime as well as an entire video game that seemingly has a real budget behind it. It would be really awesome if other series on this list get a resurgence, but it's really impossible to know. Hinomaru Zumo Hinomaru Zumo is a manga by the mangaka Kawada. It ran for five years starting in 2015 and is about sumo wrestling. Not too much else to say about this manga, though I have to say the action art at times I think is actually really good, so if you're a fan of combat manga like Baki or Kengan Ashura, maybe check this one out. Captain Tsubasa Remember when I said that Whistle wasn't even the most popular soccer manga that's ever been in Jump? This was what I was talking about. Captain Tsubasa is a sports manga written by Yoichi Takahashi that ran for most of the 1980s. We talked about before how Prince of Tennis was one of the most popular sports manga with 60 million copies sold. Well, Tsubasa is right outside the top 10 highest selling manga in Shonen Jump history with 90 million copies in circulation. In comparison, My Hero Academia has around 100 million copies. If it wasn't clear, Captain Tsubasa is essentially the Dragon Ball of sports manga, both in its generation but also in how influential it is both within and outside the manga industry. It should be at a higher tier, but, you know, American fans might not know about it, so that's probably why it's here. Kajika Continuing the trend of Akira Toriyama one-shots, we have Kajika, which ran in Shonen Jump for 12 chapters in 1998. And even as a Dragon Ball fan who has heard of Sandland, I had no idea this manga existed. Which is partially because unlike Sandland, this manga has never gotten an official English release. It's another fantasy adventure story completely independent from any other world created by Toriyama. So if you like Toriyama's adventure style of storytelling or just a fan of Dragon Ball and find a way to read this manga, definitely check check it out. You could bang this out in like a single sitting due to how short it is. Bastard. Just like Sandland, Bastard has gotten an anime adaptation since this tier list was made, arguably making it more well known. The manga itself started in 1989 and is technically continuing as it's never formally ended, but there hasn't been a chapter in 14 years. Now, this manga I can actually give a personal recommendation for. It's not the story, as the plot isn't special, and it has way too much full-on nudity and sometimes uncomfortable scenes. However, the art in the second half of the manga is some of the most impressive stuff I have ever seen. Seriously, do your eyes a favor and check out some of these double spreads in the manga. It's actually insane. But again, extreme content warning for this one. Gunblaze West Gunblaze West is another short-lived manga written by the author of Ruinori Kenshin, Nobuhiro Watsuki. This time, the story is about cowboy-esque gunslingers. But again, the creator of this manga is literally a criminal, so let's not give him any more time than necessary. Pew to Fuku Jaguar 
Pyutu Fuku Jaguar is a gag manga written by Kyosuke Usuda. This manga tells the story of a musician named Kiyohiko who continuously runs into an eccentric recorder player named Jaguar until the two of them become roommates. The whole plot revolves around them coming across and dealing with different weird characters and musicians as they try to further their career. Overall, it seems to have a pretty interesting art style. Is it actually funny? That's up to you to decide. City Hunter City Hunter is probably the most well-known work of the mangaka Tsukasa Hojo, which follows the private detective Ryu Seiba in his adventures as a, quote, city hunter. If this character seems familiar, this is because they appeared as a playable character in the roster of the video game Jump Force, which came out a couple years ago. This manga has also spawned several different TV series based on it in several different countries that are all live action, which is pretty rare for a manga, so arguably you could probably put this higher on the list. Kochi Kame. Kochi Kame, or Kochi Kame Tokyo Beat Cops, is probably the biggest example of a cultural divide between Japan and America. Kochi Kame is a comedy manga that ran and jumped for literally 40 years, making it the manga with the second most volumes of all time, with nearly two thousand chapters, which also makes it the fifth highest selling manga to ever come out of Jump. To describe its plot would be impossible given how long it's lasted. The closest equivalent to the series in America would be something like Peanuts or Garfield. Long lasting, generationally well known comedic stories. Sexy Commando Gaiden Sexy Commando Gaiden is another manga made by Kyosuke Usuda, the creator of Pew 2 Fuku Jaguar. It's once again a comedy manga, but this time revolves around the quote, Sexy Commando Club at a school in which they learn a martial art named Sexy Commando that involves defeating your opponents without actually directly fighting him. As a comedy manga, it revolves around new people joining the club or characters coming across more people that must be defeated with Sexy Commando. Take a shot every time I said Sexy Commando, I guess. Isobe Isobe Monogatari Isobe Isobe Monogatari, written by Ryu Nakama, is yet another gag manga. However, what immediately stands out about this one in comparison to the other series is that instead of taking on a quirky or generic anime style, the manga replicates the historical art style of the time period that the story takes place in. Plot is relatively simple, following a guy who wants to be a samurai, who is completely lacking in ambition, and who lives with his mom. Ran for four years, starting in 2013. Pajama no Kanojo. Pajama no Kanojo is a romance manga that started in 2012 and was written by Kosuke Hamada. It follows the relationship between a boy and his friend who is in a coma, however he can still see and talk to her spirit. It becomes a bit of a mystery story as the characters try to unravel the mystery as to what put her in a coma in the first place. Kinyuku Man Kinyuku Man is one of the most popular battle shonen that existed in the generation before Dragon Ball. Created by Takashi Shimada and Yoshinori Nakai under the pen name Yudu Demago, this story follows super-powered alien pro wrestling, following a man named Suguru who is attempting to become the rightful prince of his planet by winning in an intergalactic wrestling tournament. Having sold nearly 80 million copies, if you want to see what comedy fighting series looked like before 1990, this is a great place to start. Fumino Kojiro. Fumino Kojiro is one of the manga written by Kasami Kuramada before he had the massive success with Saint Seiya in 1985. The manga ran for only about one year and told the story of two rival martial arts schools that call upon ancient ninja clans for support, only to accidentally begin a conflict between different ninja clans that ended many years before. If you like Saint Seiya, maybe check this one out, but there's probably a reason Saint Seiya is way more popular than this one, so you're better off probably just reading that. Dragon Quest Dino Daibokan Known by Western fans as Dragon Quest Adventure of Dai, this series is sometimes misattributed to Akira Toriyama due to Toriyama helping make character designs for the Dragon Quest games. This manga, however, which is indeed a tie-in with that franchise, is written by Riku Sanjo and illustrated by Koji Inada. As for the plot, it's a fantasy battle adventure that takes place in the world of Dragon Quest. It's on the more fun and lighthearted side, and it's pretty popular, as it sold 50 million copies and recently got an anime. We Never Learn we Never Learn is a romance slash harem manga written by Taishi Tatsui, which ran in Shonen Jump for three years starting in 2017. The story follows a tutor who must teach several genius girls in subjects that they are bad at, while they all, naturally, fall in love with him. The unique aspect that stands out about this manga is that it apparently has multiple endings offered to the viewer, depending on which character the reader wants the main character en to end up with, which is unique to say the least. Level 5 Point of No Return 
At this point, pretty much none of these series have anything that gives them a chance of being well known, as pretty much none of these have had an adaptation or seen success as an independent manga. If you know about any series in this tier, it's either that you actually have been reading Shonen Jump magazine for years at this point, or you are familiar with more popular work by the same author. I think the saddest thing about this tier is that given a bit of time and resources, some of these series could have become huge hits in their own right, but that's not the timeline we live in. Zombie Powder. If you're familiar with shonen manga at all, then the art style of Zombie Powder should be immediately recognizable to you, because this manga was created by none other than Tite Kubo, the creator of Bleach. This series is Kubo's run in Shonen Jump before the massive success of Bleach. Zombie Powder is a western-inspired story that involves a group of criminals trying to collect 12 artifacts that can bring people back to life as well as make someone immortal. This series is kind of representative of how just like Americans are weirdly obsessed with parts of Japanese culture, Japan Japan really likes the Wild West for some reason. Still, if you're a Bleach fan and haven't seen the series, what are you doing with your life? Mitsubuki Condor Mitsubuki Condor is a fantasy manga that ran in Shonen Jump from 2014 to 2015 that was written by Ryo Ishiyama. The series follows a professional and an amateur thief as they attempt to find and steal several artifacts created by an evil witch from the ancient past who was once the ruler of the continent. This author is currently seeming to have some success with their current manga Dragon and Chameleon, which is fittingly about struggling in the manga industry. Majin Tantai Nagami Nero with this English translation being Neuro Supernatural Detective, this manga's entire premise is essentially in the title. However, the author of this series should be familiar, as it was written by Yusei Matsui, who went on to make Assassination Classroom and The Elusive Samurai. Part of this series' legacy is that apparently it got an anime adaptation that was really bad. But if you like Matsui's other work, or like mystery series, maybe check it out. Sakura Tetsu Taiwahen Sakura Tetsu Taiwahan is a manga that only lasted 14 chapters around 2002 and revolves around a greedy guy named Sakura Tetsu who one day becomes the middle of a conflict between space pirates, mole people, and humans from the future who all claim that they own the rights to his property. Kind of a wild concept. The author Ryu Fujisaki has made numerous other projects, including both manga and light novels, with this one, along with another one we'll talk about in a moment, being his least well-known creations. Romancers Romancers is a manga that only ran for 19 chapters in 1999 and was written by Yuko Asami. It follows a guy who has the power to make his lies essentially become real, who is looking for other people with similar powers called romancers. We'll be seeing more of Yuko later, as this is not nearly their most odd and unique manga that they've published in Jump, not by a long shot. Iron Knight Iron Knight is a post-apocalyptic battle series written by Tomohiro Yagi that briefly ran in 2013. In the story, one day, without explanation, every criminal or generally bad person on Earth gains the power to turn into a monster of some kind, instantly bringing on an essential end of civilization and post-apocalypse. The main character eventually learns that he can turn into a monster as well, but instead of being evil, he actually fights these monsters. Despite its kind of chibi art style, this manga is surprisingly violent at times, with some pretty good action. But, of course, it's unfinished and very short, so don't exactly get your hopes up with this one. Spring Weapon Number 1 Spring Weapon is about a battle between evil robots and an organization called Mappo. However, the actual narrative pretty much has nothing to do with this conflict. Instead, it's about how in a school where one of the Mappo members attends, a robot shows up and acts like a student, becoming incredibly popular due to somehow no one noticing that they're very obviously a robot. I don't know what it is with Japan and comedy manga about robots, but this isn't the first, nor will it be the last of its kind. Mononofu Mononofu is another board game focused manga like Hikaru no Go, except without the supernatural twist and instead of Go, they're playing Shogi. It involves around a guy accidentally moving into a house full of Shogi players. It had a relatively long run compared to other series in this tier, lasting 43 chapters between 2015 and 2016. I can really only recommend this one if you really like Shogi, I guess? Sensei no Bulge 
Sensei no Bulge, or more commonly known as Barrage, is the manga written by Kohei Horikoshi before their massive success with My Hero Academia. The story is about the conflict between a kingdom of humans and an alien race, where the prince of the kingdom swaps places with an orphan who happens to look identical to him. If you like My Hero Academia or just Horikoshi's art style and want to see where he started, this is definitely something you should check out, though keep in mind it's only like 16 chapters long. Shishunki Renaissance David Kun. Okay, this one is probably the most unique manga I've described on this iceberg. Also known as Teenage Renaissance David in English, this comedy manga is about a normal high school boy who just so happens to look completely identical to the statue of David made by the Renaissance artist Michelangelo. To be honest, this manga is really weird. In the first chapter, he gets like peed on by a guy who looks, well, not like an adult, let's say, multiple times, and really the only joke, at least in the first chapter, seemed to be, here's an attractive guy, but he's also a total loser. Probably there's a reason why it only lasted 35 chapters. Walk 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 is another manga written by Ryu Fujisaki. This one lasted a little longer than the other one, and is generally more of a generic shonen. It involves people named Guardians battling against evil machines, pretty standard stuff, though there's a lot of focus on blood in this manga. Still, definitely a lot more normal for Shonen Jump when compared to other entries on the steer. Golem Hearts Golem Hearts is a short-lasting 15-chapter manga that ran in Shonen Jump between 2017 and 2018. It followed a boy named Noah who lives in a fantasy world where the main unique mechanic is that there are golems, artificial beings made by sorcerers, who are integrated into society to do tasks for people to help them in daily life. Given how short this manga was, unfortunately I can't say much else about it despite how relatively recent it was. Neko Wappa Neko Wappa by itself isn't that much to talk about. It lasted only 13 chapters. It was about a girl who was raised by cat gods who inhabit a shrine, essentially just a harmless comedic series. However, the author, 11 years later, would go on to make the very well-known Kaiju No. 8, which has been an absolute smash hit on Shonen Jump's online services. Sometimes completely changing up your flow is the way to go for success. Robot X Laser Beam Robot X Laser Beam, despite its title sounding like some sort of epic battle series, is about golf. Just like a lot of other entries on this tier, the most unique thing about this manga is not what it's about, but who made it, as it's written by Tadatoshi Fujimaki, who made one of the biggest and best-selling sports manga of all time, Kuroko no Basket. So if you like golf or sports manga, maybe give it a look. That's all I can say about this. I'm not a sports guy. Level 6. Bottom of the Iceberg. At this point, if a manga is at this level or below, there's probably a very reasonable explanation as to why you haven't heard of it. They probably weren't very well received and definitely weren't popular, so for some reason they were axed by the magazine. If you know something from this tier or below, I gotta shake your hand because I didn't know how you could have possibly found these ones unless you combed through wiki pages or shonen jump catalogs yourself. Though, to be fair, some of these series are just old rather than necessarily bad and have just fallen out of cultural consciousness, like our first entry. Sonin Kimen Gumi Sonin Kimengumi is a comedy manga that ran in the 1980s It was written by Motoi Shinzawa. The main joke of this series is that pretty much every character's name is a Japanese pun of some kind, as it follows a high school club just doing silly gag manga stuff. It was a relatively popular series in Japan, but it makes sense why it didn't blow up in America or anywhere outside of Japan, as the main gimmick of the manga is making a kind of joke that literally can't be translated into other languages. Koisuru Edison. Koisuru Edison is a 40 chapter manga that ran throughout 2013 in Shonen Jump, written by Kizuku Watanabe. The premise is pretty simple but ridiculous. A high school girl has a screw drilled into her head, with said screw having all the knowledge of the inventor Thomas Edison. The plot is then her just inventing things with this knowledge given to her by this screw. One of the weird parts of this manga is that when she's making things, her face literally turns into like a photorealistic Thomas Edison face, which is a choice, I guess. Mayor Yutai Goto Seijiro. Mayor Yutai Goto Seijiro is the first manga who has really stumped me in my research, which will become increasingly common as we go on. 
From what I can gather, it was a manga that actually ran for a couple years around 1997 with the main character being named Goto Seijiro. From what summaries I could find, the manga seems to be about this guy is a really aggressive studi body president of his high school. For its relative length, I'm surprised more info about it doesn't exist. But maybe you've read this series? Tell me what it's about. Lightwing. Lightwing is yet another soccer manga in Jump that lasted for 18 chapters around 2010. Written by Shinke Hideo, it follows the story of a talented soccer prodigy who is transferred to a school that is an absolutely terrible team. The plot is about him trying to motivate his team to help them become successful, but due to the length of the series, I'm gonna assume he failed in this goal. Bushizawa Receive Making his third appearance on this iceberg is Kyosuke Usuda, the creator of Pew2 Fuku Jaguar and Sexy Commando Gaiden. In between two of those previous series, Usada created this manga in 1999 called Bushisawa Receive. Information that's readily available about this manga is incredibly sparse, as its run was for seemingly only two volumes, and is already overshadowed by two manga that in and of themselves are already considered obscure. I looked into some Japanese bookstore websites, and this is the story sum summary of what I've got when I ran it through an English translator. Enjoy. Your admiration for a hero. Bushisawa will make it come true. Do you want to see Samurai? Do you want to see Receive? A savior has appeared in the Milk Academy Hero Club, which is on the verge of being abolished. Shin Bushizawa, a cheerful boy who boldly stands up against the army of evil. Bushisawa, who continues to wear a school helmet even in the classroom, goes on a rampage, destroying all common sense and standard rules. If you can make sense of that, there you go. If it sounds interesting, give it a read. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Blue Jagan Ral Omega Grad. Even this deep in the iceberg, Akira Toriyama still has influence. Blue Dragon Ral Omega Grad, which I'll just be calling Ral Grad, is a four volume manga that ran for less than a year in 2006 based on the Blue Dragon video games, which had character designs by Akira Toriyama. The series was written by Tsune Takano, and more importantly, it was illustrated by a very familiar name, Takeshi Obata, who drew Death Note, which is a crazy crossover between artistic styles. Ralgrad is a fantasy story about a guy who is fused with the shadow of a, believe it or not, blue dragon that he can use like a kind of stand form, like from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. If you like Death Note's art, maybe check this one out. Surikizo Pintaro Surikizo Pintaro is a short-lived manga that ran throughout the year 2000, and is another example of a manga trying to put a new unique spin on a really niche sport. This time, it's fishing. The main gimmick is that the main character has a magical fishing lure that can turn into whatever fishing lure he needs. This manga was written by Takeshi Okano and Makara Sho, who have worked together before on slightly more popular projects that I'll talk about in a bit. From my research, the credits don't seem exactly consistent on which one drew the manga and which one wrote it. Either way, if you like fishing, here's a manga for you. I'm sure there's not going to be any more fishing manga on this list. Azora Fishing Oh, you thought we were done with fishing manga? Think again. Azura Fishing is a relatively simple manga about fishing that was released in 1983, written by Roshihiro Takahashi. There's really nothing notable about this manga, as it was really just a stepping stone in Takahashi's career, as he would go on to make an infinitely more popular series, Ginga, the next year, in 1984. If I had a nickel for every occurrence of a Shonen Jump fishing manga, I'd have at least two, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Chameleon Jail. Chameleon Jail is written by Kakuhiko Watanabe and is more notably illustrated by Takahiko Inoue, who would go on to make Slam Dunk, which is the fourth highest selling shonen jump manga of all time. This series is about a man named Chameleon Jail, who has the ability to essentially shapeshift and uses it to do difficult missions for law enforcement. It only ran for two volumes in 1989. Wild Half. Remember when I said that Romancers wasn't the weirdest manga made by Yuko Asami? Well, four years before Romancers, they made this manga, Wild Half. Wild Half is about a boy who meets a talking dog named Salsa, who seems to have a human spirit or soul inside himself that sometimes appears as a ghost of a half-naked man with elf ears. They go around fighting people and solving problems. The craziest thing about this manga is that it apparently ran for 17 volumes and had almost 150 chapters. Sengoku Armors 
Sengoku Armors is a short-lived historical action manga that ran throughout 2011 for 17 chapters. This manga takes place in 1590 and follows a woman who is next in line for rulership of Japan, being protected by monks who use superpowered weapons from assassins who wish to kill her so that they may become the rulers of Japan. This series had a really strong early Naruto vibe to it in its aesthetics and art style, but honestly came out like 10 years too late, and people probably didn't need another Naruto when the real thing was just way more popular and still ongoing at the time. Butsu Zone Butsu Zone is a manga written by Hiroyuki Takei in 1997, before they had their massive success with the manga Shaman King in 1998. Plot revolves around a Buddhist deity, Shenju, protecting the reincarnation of the Buddha until they are able to achieve enlightenment. If you like Shaman King, maybe give this one a look. Though, there's a reason Shaman King was popular and not this one, so maybe don't. Jigoku Sensei Nube you probably heard me before mention that the creators of that fishing manga had made another series that's a little bit more popular, and here it is on the iceberg. Created by the aforementioned duo of Takeshi Okano and Makara Sho, this manga feels out of place here as it ran for six years starting in 1993 with nearly 300 chapters, as well as several different animated adaptations. The plot revolves around a teacher named Nube who is actually an exorcist. This is one of the manga that started the whole demon sealed inside the main character trope as Nube's left hand has a demon sealed inside of it, which is what he uses to fight. Level 7 Beyond the Iceberg. At this point in my research, I considered myself lucky if I could even find a single sentence describing what these manga were about, because finding them actually in print was essentially impossible. Before, if you knew about any of these, I would be impressed, but if you know about these, I am kind of concerned for you. Unfortunately, I will do my best to tell you everything I can find on these series, but I don't think even Shonen Jump remembers having these in their magazine. Due to a lack of info, I'll go in more in depth into where I found this info and how, just to show how obscure some of these things are. Boku wa Shonen Tente Dan The English title for this manga literally translates to I'm Dan, the Boy Detective, which was written by the manga Hiroshi Gamo around 1998. Gamo was known for his previous manga Lucky Man, which is a very obvious parody of Ultraman. I found information regarding this on a website called Luckypedia Wiki, which seems to essentially be made by a single Japanese guy more than 10 years ago, with the page giving the only synopsis and literally no other information aside from that. Kikai Senshi Garufa Translated into English, Mecha Battler Gilfer seems to be a short-lived sci-fi mecha series that came out during 1984 and lasted only 13 chapters. Besides the name of the author, Motohiro Nishiro, and artist Koji Maki, almost nothing exists to describe what the series was about. I can only find three images of the series existing, its appearance on the cover of Shonen Jump, as well as two volume covers. Honestly, the design looks kinda cool in some of these, but the story must not have been well received to barely last a couple months. Chill Dragon This 1999 manga written by Noiki Izuma also has next to nothing reported about it anywhere. It supposedly lasted only 21 chapters and based on the broken English description that I found was about, and I quote, slapstick gag based comedy Ryu Juvenile Elementary School which convinced the reincarnation of the legendary hero as Ryunoko and their stir and uproar in Japan of school transfer destination and tried to get 100 disciples in order to obtain the title of dragon from his grandfather is a teacher is the reaction of people around the struggle. Yeah. Based on the art, it seems heavily inspired by like martial arts films, I don't know. Otoko no Joken Otoko no Joken might be the oldest series we've covered so far, as it ran in Shonen Jump between 1968 and 1969 for 19 chapters. Its creators were Iki Kajiwara and Noboru Kurosaki that have worked on numerous different projects, though both of them seem to have moved into the anime industry pretty soon after working on this manga. As for what this one is about, it genuinely seems to be following the drama of the life of a normal guy who looks super serious all the time. Its biggest claim to fame is that it gets mentioned in the manga Bakuman apparently, but that's about it. Kujira Daigo Kudra Daigo is a manga that ran for a grand total of 11 chapters in 1968, instantly taking the crown of the oldest thing on the iceberg from Otoko no Joken. In fact, it's literally right there on the first cover of Shonen Jump, which is kind of crazy that it was there from the very beginning, and I know you haven't heard of this series before. But what's the manga actually about? I kid you not, it's just about a 
big guy who wants poor kids to learn. The standard of storytelling was a lot lower in the early days of Shonen Jump, that's for sure. Jinkoen Dan Shin Shiroku. So, as it's written on the iceberg, it says Jin Konan Dan Shin Shiroku. However, the closest thing I could find was something with a very similar name, but definitely obscure. Shin Konan Dan Shin Shiroku. The manga ran for less than a year in 1996 and seems to be about delinquent schoolboys. The only other thing of note is that characters are drawn with that weird thick-lipped style that is sometimes used for racist caricatures. Not a fan. Bun no Aoshun. At this point, we really have to start putting on our, our faith in non-English sources, especially bookstores, and just hope that they can accurately describe what the story is about once translated into English. Bun no Aoshun is a manga about elementary school baseball that ran for a couple volumes in 1981. Can't really say much else about this one, seems like a very generic at its time sports series that didn't make an impact. Iroh once again, these manga get so obscure that the translations to English aren't even consistent. While Iroh doesn't get any results, Garo does. What's the difference? Well, this manga's title is half Japanese and half English, with a Japanese character for picture, followed by the English word Ro. What is this series about? Well, based on the Japanese Wikipedia page for the manga, it's about a boy named Garo who has hair on his fingers instead of nails, who lives isolated from the outside world into an unrelated series of events lead assassins chasing a girl to come to his house. Weird wild that only ran for like 10 chapters in 1998. Climb Sweeper and Pink Punch Tadashi these two series actually go together, as they're actually the same thing that underwent a name change after a hiatus. This manga is written by Buronson, who would go on to make Fist of the North Star, one of the 10 highest selling jump manga of all time. This series is about a woman named Masaru who acts as an international peacekeeper. Even when including this hiatus, it only ran for less than two chapters in 1973 and 1974. Pro-Res Sasamo so this is interesting. Progress Sasamo is listed here, but then is also the image for the next tier on the iceberg. I don't blame the creator for making this mistake, as literally this was a short serialization in Jump literally about normal wrestling, with this image being the only image left of this manga that seems to exist. No covers, no color art, but speaking of the final level, it's finally time we dove one level deeper, one final time, as we enter level 8, The Void. This level goes beyond just being an obscure series that you probably haven't heard about. Some of these are so short-lived, so unknown, that they are considered essentially lost media, as probably all that, that exists are the actual original physical copies of these magazines that had these stories, that probably aren't in good condition and are extremely rare. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching, but if you skipped here to see the most obscure stuff, welcome. Let's jump right in. Black Pro Fighter Takeru Black Pro Fighter Takeru is both simultaneously easier and harder to obtain than some other entries on this list, as it actually got released at some point in the 2010s, but I'm not exactly sure when it originally ran. We do actually know the story though, as it's about a man who gets blinded in one eye and decides after that to become a boxer in order to get revenge on the people who blinded him. The manga was considered incredibly violent for the audience at the time, which might explain why it was so short-lived. Shinkai Gyo Shinkai Gyo was a manga written by Tanaka Kanako that ran extremely briefly in 1999. However, some translated chapters of this manga actually are available, and it is a weird one. It essentially follows a scientist and a humanoid shark man teaming up to fight bad guys. Honestly, not surprised this manga didn't last long. The art is not great, and the story isn't much better. But hey, if you wanted a shark boy and lava girl manga, well, here's half of that. V no Kuchibue V no Kuchibui is a 1971 manga about horse jockeys that ran for 15 chapters, written by Jump editor Tozukai Shiro and drawn by Takumi Nagayasu. This manga really gives nothing else to say. However, Takami would go on to work on things that were a little bit more popular. Notably, he worked as the background artist for a little movie called Akira. You know, a movie known for how draw-droppingly beautiful its background art is. Does this art translate to the manga about horses? Probably not. Mahaheto. 
At first, I thought I had hit a dead end with this one, as Maheda was not bringing me many results at all. I figured out when it had roughly been in the magazine, but couldn't find a single image of it. That was until I found out that the English name of this translates to Mockhead. So what did it give me? An author's name, Hidebu Tadahashi, and exactly two images. And maybe it's just because we're this deep in the iceberg and I'm tired, but this character design looks annoying as hell, so I'm not surprised it flopped. Guts 4. Guts 4 was the first thing on here that almost completely stumped me, which might just be because of a language barrier and the fact that this manga supposedly ran in some of the earliest chapters of Jump for less than 10 chapters in 1970. It was written by Keiki Yoshitani. I could not find a single image of Guts 4, so this might be under the lost media category that I was talking about before. It also didn't help that searching for Guts manga brought up a very different series. Lion Books 2 Line Books 2 was a collection of completely independent stories that were released in Shonen Jump written in the 1970s by Osamu Tezuka. If that name is familiar, it's because he's considered essentially the Walt Disney of Japan, having created Astro Boy, Dororo, Kimba the White Lion, and many other series. The reason it's called Line Books 2 is that it is technically a sequel to a non-Shonen Jump related Lion Books that came out a decade and a half before during the 50s. White Knight White Knight is a cheeky reference to the manga Time Paradox Ghost Rider by Kenji Uchima, an entry on the list that I actually ignored for this exact reason. In Time Paradox Ghost Rider, a mangaka gets sent versions of Shonen Jump from the future and then recreates the series called White Knight, essentially stealing it from someone else. Very clever putting it here on the iceberg. A manga that is fictional and hidden within an already obscure manga series. Morio Guzumo. Morio Guzumo is a manga with one of the shortest runs in Shonen Jump I've ever seen, lasting from issue 16 and ending in issue 18 in the first year of Shonen Jump in 1969. From descriptions and sparse images I can find, it is something to maybe do with horses, but also maybe the manga industry, apparently, if English translated story descriptions are to be believed, which is the only source we have. It was written by Keiki Yoshitani, who has also written a lot of manga other than this. Kurohige Tataicho. Kurohige Tataicho is another old manga that was part of Shonen Jump but got cancelled almost immediately, lasting only 10 chapters. The plot seems to revolve around criminals and the police, which made sense due to its author George Akiyama being known for someone who covered controversial topics in his writing, which is probably why the series got cancelled so fast. Yowake no Tategami. This series has almost nothing available about it. Written by Seichi Ikeiki in for 15 issues in 1970. Thanks to a random article written by a VTuber, I actually have the plot of the manga, which is one of the darkest stories I've ever seen put in Shonen Jump. I'll just read it out. It was a story about two dogs killing each other over an old man who was on the verge of going insane wandering through frigid Siberia with the sole desire to return to Japan. That's actually one of the darkest concepts I've ever heard while going through this list. Maybe 15 chapters was all that story needed. I don't know how you can make this plot any longer than that. Kiri Sakuretization. With its English translation literally meaning torn youth, Kiri Sakuretization was a manga that ran from 1970 to 1971 in Jump. From what I could find, it was a romance story with mature themes and a lot of violence. The only reason I could find pages of this manga was because a Japanese library posted some pages of it on Twitter, because literally no one else has. The author Saho Sasajawa is a well-known thriller writer who's put out literally hundreds of stories. Tora. Tora is likely referring to two different manga written by Motoko Murakami, Tora no Racer from 1975, and then the follow-up Nepu no Tora from 1976. There is a disagreement over how many chapters this series actually has, but either way, it's a very straightforward and realistic manga about motorcycle racing. Siberia no Kiba Translated to English, Fang of Siberia is a 10 chapter long manga written by Koichi Ikenai in 1970. It never got an official release outside of the magazine, but is yet another story with dogs or wolves in it revolving around a guy being really cold in Siberia. Also, thank you again to this YouTuber who wrote an article about this comic as well. I guess they're the expert of Siberian Shonen Jump series? And with that, the iceberg is done. This was by far the longest script I've ever written, and I cut parts out for my own sanity. So thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. 
If you like me doing these icebergs, tell me what iceberg you'd like to see me do next. But either way, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.